Well, from the Game 7 riot in Vancouver to a series of suicides and sudden deaths, it's been a tragic off-season for professional hockey, and it got worse today when a plane crashed carrying one of the top teams in Russia. It went down on takeoff, killing 43 people, among them NHL veterans, including former Vancouver Canuck Pavel Dimitra and coach Brad McCrimmon. This sad summer off the ice is hitting home yet again in Vancouver Island's hockey community. CTV's Myra Lawrence has the story. Wreckage is all that remains of this chartered flight destined for Minsk. On board, the locomotive team of the Continental Hockey League. Moments after takeoff, the Yak-42 slammed into this Russian riverbank, killing 43 people. It's one of the worst crashes ever involving a sports team, and the effects are being felt continents away. A big family. Everyone knows each other and, and knows someone. Um, you know, in this league or in this sport worldwide. And the whole team um, going down like that is, it's honestly, it's, it's insane to even think about it. I mean, I can't even, when I heard about it today, I, I couldn't even believe it. Among the dead, Canadian Brad McCrimmon, a former NHLer who moved to Russia to become head coach of the locomotive team. Victoria's Jeff Cortnall remembers playing against McCrimmon in the 80s. He was in Boston the year before I went there and got traded to uh, Philadelphia. So I played against him a lot and then played against him when he was coaching in Detroit. And uh, that's, you know, just another sad story. Among the players on board this fatal flight was former Canucks forward Pavel Dimitra. The 36-year-old was entering his second year in the Russian Elite League. You no, know, basically here we go again type type feeling and again, you know, Pavel was was a good friend, so it's it's tough and you know, it's tough for us, but mostly you feel tough for his family and feel bad for for them then can't imagine the kind of day that they're having today it is the second time this offseason the vancouver franchise is mourning the loss of a family member rick rippon was found dead in his alberta home nhl enforcers derek bugard and wade belak also dead players of past and present are having a hard time wrapping their heads around this summer of sadness it's absolutely awful i mean it's already been a, a very difficult summer for uh for hockey players in the hockey world. Hopefully all these things end now and go away, but uh, I think that it's been, a, it's been a tough time for hockey families. And Myra joins us now uh, with more on the investigation. You know, Myra, the, the, the hockey players you talked to and others we heard from today say that, that flying is one of the scariest parts of playing hockey in Russia. Absolutely. We talked to three different hockey players, Jeff Cortnell included, that saying the flights, you know, and the standard of flying there may not be the same as flying here in North America. Continental Hockey League officials are saying the pre preliminary information suggests that the plane failed to gain altitude after leaving the runway and collided with the navigation beacon before crashing to kilometers from the Yaroslavl city airport. It was a clear summer day, so weather obviously not a factor. The reliability of these Yak-42 aircraft is in question. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has promised to take the aircraft out of service by 2012. He also plans on visiting the crash site tomorrow and seeing the damage for himself, Hudson. All right, Mara Lawrence reporting. Mara, thanks. Thank you.